Okay, so your espresso machine needs daily maintenance cleaning. So what we're going to look at first of all is cleaning the milk jug. And we need to move the lever on the top to the cleaning rinsing cycle. Or just take all of the milk that's in the top part, flush it through with hot water. Okay, now that, that is stopped, we're just going to move that lever back to the dispensing position and remove the milk jug. So that can either go in the fridge or it can be discarded. So we have a new one, clean one here, and we will need to disassemble this for washing in the sink. So there's a lev the lever on top where you have the padlock for unlock. So the lever needs to be in that position which allows the lever to be pull out, remove the top, then the retainer, then the spout, then there's a rubber tube mechanism that comes out and then finally the tube off the bottom. So all of these components can be easily rinsed in the sink. So once they've been rinsed, then it's a matter of just putting them back in the same manner. Like that. The uh, milk lever position may move. So if you can't see a pin in this slot, that is correct. But if you see a pin showing like that, that's incorrect. So you'd need to use this lever to move that around so it's, it's missing and then that will just simply come out. And that needs to go back into the unlock position and then once that goes into the dispense position then it's all held together. And the way it goes back on is that you've got the cutaway here which goes towards the machine and you'll have your spout on the left hand side and then the nozzles line up. Just carefully push it in. The next thing we're going to look at is purging some water through the coffee filling. So again we'll put our jug underneath there's no capsule in there. So we'll close the lever and then press the double espresso shot button. And that will just flush water through. Okay, so we've cleaned the milk jug, we've cleaned the coffee. The last thing is the water tank at the back. Because there's a small valve on here, when they connect, pushes up and you do get the odd small amount of water over the, over the bottom. So we would simply just give that a bit of a wipe. Take the top off, tip that into the sink, give it a rinse out. And then you'll notice there's a lug on the back that needs to connect with this depression there. that back on top ready for use okay the next thing to clean is the uh, coffee dispensing unit so that just unclips from the front and there's two components to it three actually one now we need to just pull this back a little bit until you hear a click and then with the opening showing like that we'll give it a bit of a twist like that and then that will come apart so all these components can be cleaned in mild detergent that just simply clips back in and then back like that and then the capillary at the bottom just clips back in here like that then the next thing to do is the tray drip tray 
comes in two pieces. So we've got our spent capsules in the reservoir. And just be wary, there could be a little bit of liquid in the tray as well. So they would be in the bin, rinse it in the sink, dry it, and then pop it back in place.